Okay, we're up on a roof today and we're removing some old solar panels. We got these uh, rich solar, I'm not gonna say what make and everything we're working on here, but um, they had four of these panels and each panel is 9.8 amps, working amps. And they have these connected in like, they're all in parallel. So we've got like 40 amps that are going from the roof down to the battery bank. Keep in mind, uh, if you have low amps, you can use thinner cables. Higher amps, you have to use thicker cables. And so when we're going from the roof down to your battery bank, we typically try to go high voltage, low amp, so we can use smaller cables. So when these panels here that we're working with, we're actually, these are the ones we're pulling off the roof, right? Each one of them has a working amperage of about 10. That means when they hook all these things in parallel, they're at like 40 amps, which it's, they only have, you know, this 10 gauge wire going down. It's, it's not really rated for that, for these longer distances. So here we have the roof gland coming out. This is not PB wire. So there's a recall on this right now where you actually have to put the PV wire, I mean the photovoltaic wire from the roof down into here, which is good, it helps for sure. Um, but you can see how this, the light, the coloration, the bleaching out on the sun, these will crack. Uh, this, this plastic covering will crack and it leads to the possibility of a short. But what I wanna show you here is, here's the you know, red wire coming up and here's a parallel join come down the line the second parallel join right here and here so two panels going in two panels right leading all into this one wire i mean that's and at 10 amps a piece roughly you're almost 40 amps going through a 10 gauge wire down however far yeah i mean it's like i think there's something wrong with that so this is not extremely well waterproofed, right? I mean, we end up coming in here and there's a rubber gasket there that when this is tightened down properly, get this down real tight, right? This really ratchet down nitro if I'll get there on this guy. You just got it tighter with your fingers. Than it I know, yeah, it was. I think it was, so I didn't get that. So as you get this down, now you can't move this thing around. This is not tight. Um, that's not called waterproof. And so um, there could be water damage problems. Now the next thing is, as we're taking this guy apart, pulling off these old components, this thing is not letting go. We're like, what on earth is going on here? And as we looked closer into this guy, it was actually, you can see that a little bit, it had melted. So we had far more amps going through these MC4 connectors than there should have been. I think these are rated at like 30 amps and they had over like close to 40 from factory running through this thing. So when we do our own, when we do a solar installation, we are doing our own system. I mean, everything from the panels to the racking to the wire runs down to the battery bank, um, the back end electronic management, the batteries, the whole, whole shoe and match, we are wanting to ensure that all that's done properly and that we're not dealing with um, issues like this. So um, if you have interest in learning more about doing these larger off-grid RV solar systems, feel free to reach out. We'd love to have a little consult with you. And if there's something we can do to help out with that, we're more than happy to do so. But uh, anyway, grading, anything else you want to share? Just check your rigs. Check the rigs. Yep. Fire yeah. hazards. Yeah. That's, uh, that's the first time we've seen something like that. But this, this coach has been out on the road a little bit. And it's definitely um, had some over amperage on those, uh, those connectors. So those connections. But anyway. Won't show any problems until it burns down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when it shows a problem, it might be too late. But anyway, so anyway, we wish you well. Hope uh, 
Hope you guys have some safe travels and yeah, thanks for watching.